Hello everyone and welcome back. It's been a long while since uh, there's any projects that have come out this way. i have been a few issues. Uh, things have kept me from the dune buggy, uh, family stuff, weddings, uh, and also some power issues have kept us from the dune buggy. Uh, but stay tuned, there's going to be a lot more car projects coming very soon after the new year. Uh, but right now it's really cold here in Illinois and I don't feel like going outside. Call it, uh, you know, maybe I'm getting older, harder to keep warm, or maybe I'm just tired of the cold. Uh, but anyhow, uh, I'm a big Queen fan, so of course I've gone and I've seen the movie Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, there are some historical inaccuracies, but I did overall enjoy the movie. Uh, but that's kind of gotten me re-interested uh, into the story of Queen. Not necessarily the music. What I like about Queen is their very DIY attitude toward things. Uh, there's Brian May with his homemade guitar that he built out of, you know, junk he had laying around. Uh, but not only Brian May, but also the bass player, Brian, or John Deacon. John Deacon was also, you know, very much DIY. Uh, and he's kind of famous for, besides just being a bass player, he made an amp that Brian May uses to this day on pretty much all of his recordings. Uh, it's been called the Deakey Amp, after John Deacon, its inventor. Uh, but the story goes, one day he was walking home from practice, saw some wires hanging out of a dumpster, and those wires were attached to what was left of a portable radio. Uh, he was an electrical engineer, studying to be an electrical engineer in college. He thought he could use these bits to make a cool practice amp at home. So he went home, threw those bits inside of a bookshelf speaker, and made a cool practice amp that Brian May eventually fell in love with and used extensively in the studio. Uh, so today, I'm going to try and make my version of a Deaky amp out of some junk I've had laying around. So we're going to get started on that. I'll give you some in-depth look at the parts I've got for this little creation. Alright, here's the first big part that we're going to use for our Deaky style amp. Uh, this is uh, what looks like uh, an intercom speaker. It's probably hung like this on a wall of a classroom or something like that. You know, they go over the loudspeaker. Go to the principal's office or whatever, or Charlie Brown style, womp, 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 womp. Uh, it's got a cool little uh, chicken head knob here uh, that adjusts. It says gain, but I've played with it. It seems to adjust the volume. Uh, but we're going to do, no, we're not going to mess with any gain. This is going to be a straight, clean sound amp. Uh, but to uh, get our amp board sounds, what I have here, this is the sound board out of a set of uh, computer speakers. People are always throwing out those big clunky computer speakers and I don't know, does people really even use them anymore? Um, that thing's all Bluetooth, wireless, laptop, smartphones now, so I don't even know why anybody needs these. Uh, but it's got a cool uh, volume potentiometer here, on, off, little LED light, tells us it's on. These two wires go to our speaker and these wires are the input. Uh, we're going to desolder these so that we've got some longer leads for the speaker and we're going to figure out what these do. We're going to limit this. Is, there's three wires in here. Uh, we're just going to do it into two and uh, wire everything up. It takes a 12 volt output input to power it, which I also have. Uh, but we're going to get things cleaned up. We're going to start wiring, do some desoldering and then resoldering. All right, so here's a view of the amp board after you would take it out of the uh, computer speaker. Uh, this part is where you plug your, your computer speakers into the computer to get the sound. So, usually this goes with two speakers, so when you strip back the wire, what you'll find, you'll find a yellow wire, you'll find a white wire, and you'll find a bare wire. So the bare wire is your ground, and uh, you'll have to figure out which one will be used, either the yellow wire or the white wire. In this case, the, uh, the yellow wire worked out, so we could get it soldered up to our input jack. And then going out this way, these are the wires that are attached to the speaker. All we did was we extended those so they would reach the speaker inside of our intercom box. And that's a really simple part to it. <clears throat> All you're doing is soldering the uh, input to the computer from the computer speakers to your input jack. And then wiring these up to your speaker cabinet. And uh, then you go in here and plug in your 12 volt power source on the back side here. 
Uh, so really, that's it. That's a whole amp circuit for this Deke style amp. We have our speaker cab here. So we can figure out where do we want to mount this. This is made from uh, what looks like quarter inch plywood. I don't know if we have a full quarter inch depth to make this thing work. So either we can just kind of mount it down low in here. I'd like to be able to see the light up top somewhere. So perhaps what we could do is we could maybe recess the outside, relieve the inside a bit. I got a Forstner bit or a spade bit we can use for that. Then we'll just figure out where it would look cool at. If I'm honest, I kind of like it here. And we can have the we can have the board mount up against that. I think okay, maybe not quite there, but maybe here. I think that'd look nice. Yeah, there you go, spot for it. Here's a view from the back so you can see uh, what the insides look like. Uh, here I have my 12 volt power source coming in. Uh, this goes into our input jack so I can plug things into it. And then these wires go down into our speaker. Don't mind the blue tape, it's temporary. I'm just here testing it. When I'm finished I'll put some nice heat shrink around all that, tidy up all the wiring, and uh, make it a nice little amp. But uh, I don't know about you guys, but I think I'm ready to see what this thing sounds like. All right, there it is. It's all finished. Uh, my version of the homemade dinky amp out of a classroom announcement speaker. Okay, I think first uh, we're going to test out the clean sound in this, and I'm going to go for my cleanest guitar, my uh, Fender Coronado 2, uh, play some nice, bright, jangly, clean tones. So we're going to plug this straight into that, and we're going to get some sounds out of that.
for the uh, dirty test, what we're going to do is we are going to hook up a, a TC Electric treble booster into this so we can get a clean boost out of it. And I'm going to use uh, my modified Epiphone Dot. Uh, I've had this thing for over 10 years now, and some of the modifications I've done, uh, I've added a tusk nut, because I always had a problem with tuning the G-string on this. It was always sticky on the old plastic nut. So in went a uh, tusk nut. I have Burst Bucker Pro pickups in the uh, neck and bridge position. And I have a 920D uh, 50 style wiring harness replacing all the old janky pots and stuff like that. So we're going to get some, you know, little, little dirt, dirtier sounds out of it. Again, treble boost, clean boost, so it's not going to be crazy dirty. Uh, but Brian May uses a clean boost, so he's kind of got that really clean overdriven tone. Uh, and this is a pretty close approximation to that. <laughs> So that's the build of the uh, Deaky style amp. I hope it's inspired you guys to go out, find uh, stuff in the garbage, find old computer speakers in the garbage, find old retro looking speakers in the garbage, and go out and uh, build your own amp. You know, with a few soldering skills and, you know, a morning, you can knock one of these things out. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I really love the clean tone on this. Uh, my wife uses this for her violin bass to get those nice, clean, upright bass sounds. Uh, and it's super portable. I love that. It's got these cool little things on here. Tie a string around it, sling it over your shoulder, and have some fun. Uh, anyway, check back for more stuff. Uh, we're always building some fun things, so stay tuned. Again, thanks.